Hey, we got bees in the cathedral hive. Here's how it happened. Hello everybody, welcome back to the JRB Apiary trip to Pennsylvania to Man Lake LTD where I picked up a nucleus colony. Not exactly compatible, I know, with my cathedral hive, but it was worth it. So this is my nucleus colony with the bag over it for the two hour drive, which I super appreciated because I didn't have bees flying all over my vehicle. But how am I gonna get that in there when I have Langstroth frames? Well, step one was, well, I noticed it fit in my hive. So I just placed it inside of there and thought, why not just let them have an overnight in their new hive so they can get used to it before I go brushing everybody off since I'm essentially destroying this entire nucleus colony for the sake of science and trying to get this cathedral hive going. So I removed the bag off of the nucleus colony and then went in and it's time to remove the entrance and let those bees out. They've been cooped up for too long, especially considering the drive. See, they were very excited to leave. They don't like being kept in there for that long of a period of time at all. It was a pretty warm day and there were some storms coming in later again, so I thought why not just leave the top off, close up the hive with the frames that I have, and just let them get used to where the entrance is and let them have their overnight to do their thing. They were very confused by everything that was going on, but I figure, hey, they're bees, they'll figure it out eventually. Here you can see the bees are just exploring, trying to find where the actual entrance is. They're going up by the vents on the top. You know, it's something they'll get sorted over time and start doing some orientation flights. But there's the actual entrance. Going and checking on them a little bit later on. See, they're very confused still and just kind of buzzing all over the place. Different story, however, the next day you can see things are much calmer. So it was time to crack open that lid and get to, well, tearing apart this hive and making it kind of a Frankenstein hive. You can see they had taken to the frames that I had modified for them to start building out comb. Looking at the nucleus frames, lots of brood and really look like a good, strong, healthy colony. So very fortunate for that, considering it was the last chance of really getting any colonies in the area uh, for uh, this year was when I went. There's the queen, she looks good, she looks healthy. She's very active. I did have a queen cage so I can grab her and make sure nothing happens to her. And I kind of set that aside while I went about my business. Next I started putting the modified cathedral top bar frames that I had done in a previous video you can see. And put them into place so that they had something to build off of rather than just going free combing off of the frames themselves. For the frames in the back I planned that they would do just that. Now I'm kind of sizing things up to see what to do as far as if I can get a frame in there with brood, but eh, not easily. So I've decided to just brush all the bees off almost like I'm installing a package colony. And then I'm going to have all these brood frames and I'll show you what I did with those. And definitely I wasn't going to let that go to waste. Definitely fully garbed in my protective gear on this one. Com somewhat it's comfort, but also there's nothing gentle about this. I'm destroying their entire colony. They don't like it very much. They were not very happy about everything that was going on. Finally, I emptied out the last of the bees from the nucleus colony bin and put the frames in place. These are the ones that they will free comb later on and kind of let them to it. There is a divider board separating the front of the hive from the back of the hive, just so they establish things up in the front at the beginning. Then after a few days, you swap it out so that they have the whole hive to themselves. I did, of course, let the queen out of her queen cage that I had put her in in that comb and let her walk around on the frames, and they immediately took to fanning in order to call in additional bees. Here is a modified brood frame that I chopped up and somehow connected to one of those top bars. It wasn't nice work, but at least gives them a little bit of something. And here you can see they are fanning again, trying to call in everybody else. This is looking through the observation window on the beehive and you can see the front from the back of the hive here and you are supposed to put that divider board just get them used to the front of the hive i don't know if it's entirely necessary but i did do that for at least a few days and then later on removed it and gave them the whole hive one of the other brood frames i put in my split colony that was a little bit weaker that's the one i took the queen from the original cathedral install and placed in there which she was making brood so things worked out the rest of those Langstroth frames, again, I wasn't going to let them go to waste. 
I went and took a look at my only Langstroth hive, the Flow Hive, and saw there were a lot of empty frames that didn't have any eggs or anything starting because they had just started getting a little bit of brood laid down by the queen. Decided just to go ahead and put that and the resource frames um, in there in order to give them a little bit of boost of some extra brood and resources. And took the kind of blanks out of there and reassembled everything. That medium super does have honey from last year from when the hive died out. So they do have a little bit of a kickstart there. So hopefully we'll be able to put some flow frames on and see if that frame uh, and hive type will work this year since the bees kind of left the flow hive alone last year. And again, just securing everything up and get ready to leave for the day. Hope you enjoy this last little bit of the bees fanning out the queen's pheromones and calling everybody into the hive. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and uh, see you next time at the JRB Apiary.